good noon guys in this session we'll be discussing the week 4 uh, graded assignment of computational thinking so let us get into the week uh, question 1 for which of the following situations is a nested loop re uh, needed here we are being asked about the condition under which we require a nested loop right assume that no procedure is used okay So it is a multiple select question, right? It is an MSQ. MSQ in the sense it will be having one or more than one option to be correct. So let us get into the options now. To find the number of authors who have written a book in French in 2007 from the library data set. If you see here, this doesn't require a nested loop because this can be the this uh, this condition called friends in 2007 can be used something like language is French and uh, year is 2007 right both these conditions can be kept together using an end operator therefore option A is not the suitable one and now coming to option B to find the number of pairs of students pair of students who have scored the same physics marks from the scores data set right here we are being asked about a pair of students that means a set of two students so this can be a suitable answer as this requires comparing one student physics marks with all the other in the sense is the remaining students marks if we consider that the picked up card is x card then this x card will be compared against all the remaining a b c up to uh, v y and z right it will be compared with the rest of the cards so this will have the uh, this will have the necessity to have a nested loop so b is one of the right answers if there is any something correct other than this Let, so let's keep b, b aside <coughs> option c to find the number of players who have won the medal in wrestling this the, this doesn't require a nested loop right if it is this can be expressed as if x dot spore is wrestling only one line only one line is enough for this therefore c is also not a correct answer and now coming to d to find the number of students with at least two vowels in their name from scores data set yes this uh, this absolutely requires an nested loop because this requires examining each and every student's names and checking if they ca if it contains at least two vowels that is not this sorry at least in the sense greater than or is equal to two right the nested loop would be used to iterate over the characters here name is something name is said to be a string and we know that a string is absolutely defined to be a sequence of characters right therefore the nested loop will be iterating over the characters in their present in the names so option d will be right as well so for the question number one b and d are the suitable answers Now coming to question number 2. The following pseudocode is executed using scores data set. Assume that length x is a procedure that returns the number of letters present in a word x. This is right, right? We already know this uh, or else we can also term this to be something like a letter count. Number of letters in the sense it is nothing other than letter count, right? what will a represent at the end of execution okay 
let us go through the pseudocode that has been provided initially a has been set to 0 we have to note down the important points in the question a is 0 while table 1 has more rows read the first row and i what is i storing here i is 1 this is also noted and b is true this is also noted c is nothing than c is something which i which captures the name right what is the name c is the name of a student okay student's name initially b is true and here b is false so something must be uh, revolving around the value of b only yes it is we are updating a only depending upon the value of b which is a boolean while i is less than or is equal to c i mean while i is less than or is equal to length of c that is number of letters present in the name of two of the picked up card if fifth letter of c is a vowel then b is being then b is being updated to false immediately that means if the name of a student has at least one vowel even if there is an if, even if there is only only one vowel in the name of student then also even then b is being updated to false that means b will be only true when it when the picked up card that is when the name of a student does not have any vowels right only then b will be true only if b is true then we will be incrementing a right see here it is if b and a is equal to a plus 1 if b in the sense you might get confused b is true and b is false which value which boolean value should be considered to execute this step called a is equal to a plus 1 we execute any step only if it is true so this can be rewritten as if true a is equal to a plus 1 right so for to in order to be remain to be a true then there should be no vowel present in the name of a student therefore let us check the suitable option number of students whose names are without vowels this is the suitable answer if we check the answer via elimination of options then we need to approach from bottom to top number of students whose name have at least one vowel if it is at least one at least one means the first letter of c is vowel then b is false right so this is a wrong option number of students whose name have exactly one vowel this is also wrong option number of students whose names have at most one vowel that means less than or is equal to at most means less than is equal to right less than one is fine that is zero but what about is equal to one in that case b will be updated to false right therefore this is also a wrong option in this elimination way of solving the question a is the suitable answer and if you come via solving the question through so logic then straight away we can decide a to be the answer and now coming to the third question the following pseudocode is executed using library data set what will c represent at the end of execution assume that there is only one row corresponding to each or each other there is only one row corresponding to each other that means there is only one entry that means there will be only one book for one other so the indirect meaning is that if there are n books there will be n others right so let us solve the question now c is 0 which I, let us note that down c is 0 noted 
all of these are very basic steps while table 1 has more row read the first row y in table 1 if find pair x comma y so here it there is something involved here this is something like a new function or a new procedure for this to exit to move to move on to this step we need to understand what find pair procedure does so from here let us try it away deep down to what find pair x comma y stud does it finds out if the book the two books have been written in the same genre and if they are belonging to two different languages if this is english then this should be some russian if this was some hindi then this should be telugu something but they should not be equal if they are equal then this will be a false if this is false and this is true the entire option will be going i mean the entire result will be a false as this is an end operator right this is an end operator here so it will be returning a true only if it is a true then we can increment the value of c right so in order to return a true it should have the same genre and different language this is the mandatory condition so let us find out what c stores from the options that which is very close to this two properties or two characteristics number of authors who have written uh, different genre books in same language see here it is same language but it should be different right number of pairs of authors who have written different genre books in a same language yes number of authors who have written same genre books in different language this is option c and option d number of pairs of authors who have written same genre books in different language find pair is what is doing uh, it is actually checking for the genre of books that means if one is action the other should also be action right action book and action book or sci-fi or sci-fi it should be scientific fiction in both the cases right so what happens here is that number of uh, the suitable most suitable option is uh, if let us solve this via elimination a is a wrong option who have written same genre books in different language number of authors who have written uh, same bo same genre books in different language if you observe here in the question we were given some condition like only one row corresponds to each other that means this cannot be others right this can be only pairs of others i hope that you are clear number of others is always a wrong option as we are only having one to one entry so the pseudo code iterates over each row present in table 1 that is authors in library data set right this is what happens and reads the first row x then after reading this card x here it is placing that into table 2 
and it continues to iterate over the rest of the cards or the rest of rows which are present in table 1. For each subsequent row y, the pseudocode calls the find pair procedure. See here it is calling the find pair procedure at the if, at the if step. Here the two picked up cards uh, x, y x has been kept into table 2 immediately after reading and then this so x acts uh, x, the book called x will be used for reference purpose only right so the second card which is y will be compared against the card x therefore the suitable option would be something like number of pairs of authors who have written different genre books no it is same here right therefore option b is also a mistake option d is right here number of pairs of authors who have written same genre books which, which is this will be evaluated to true according to the final option d and here it is not is equal to right not equal to means in different languages therefore this will also be true and a true and true will return a true if both of these are satisfied according to option d then we will be returning a true if it is true then we will be incrementing c therefore the most suitable option is d